Hey everybody, it's Nick. I just wanted to riff a little bit on some ideas that I had about my campaign, sort of do a post-mortem on the whole thing overall, and just up front, I think the campaign was probably about a solid B. Definitely not the best campaign I've ever run, but absolutely not the worst. And so, uh, I feel like there were some areas for improvement for sure. I think first off, it was a strange dynamic that the players had, because there was one very, very experienced player, and four others that were basically brand new. And even the experienced player was not a role player. He is very much like combat and puzzle oriented player, which is totally fine, but it meant he wasn't really setting an example for the other players in how to like make interesting characters. So we didn't really have many interesting characters that were kind of doing a lot of stuff. They were basically all playing themselves, which is fine. New players do that all the time. But uh, that also meant they didn't really mesh as characters because they were sort of very different as players and sort of figuring all that stuff out. So I think all that will be fixed over time as these players become more experienced. Like I said, we're losing a few players from this previous campaign, and one of them is that incredibly experienced player, so everyone else will be closer to the same experience level in this coming campaign, which will change the dynamic a lot, but I think maybe for the better. Not that there's anything wrong with that, the experienced player, I love playing with him, but uh, I think it'll bring the uh, standard deviation, the, the separation, the spread, the variation of the player's experience levels to a closer point, and I think that will maybe help the group dynamics mesh a little bit better. I think the big exploration naval campaign went pretty well. I don't think that there's great rules for ship-to-ship -ship combat, and that's why I didn't have any. I went a whole campaign where they were sailing on a boat like the whole time, and there was no ship-to-ship -ship combat, which I feel like is a disservice. I feel like that's sort of expected, and I should have done it, and I didn't. My bad. But I, the reason I didn't is because I found rules that I like, but they're still pretty bad, and they introduce a brand new game system to the encounter that the players like have to do this whole encounter in another game system and then do a battle and because of the experience level of the players that were still learning their own stuff I didn't want to add that on top of it but I feel kind of bummed that I, I sort of did a disservice to my players I didn't include ship to ship combat in a naval game um, but I haven't found good rules for ship to ship combat I know there's unearthed arcana stuff I know there's a tribality tri tri tribality there's some kind of a blog where there's an article. I can link it below. Those are the rules I like the most, but I still don't really love those either. So, uh, tribality? Something like that. Whatever. Moving on. In terms of the big picture exploration, I definitely would do it differently next time. I gave the players a map that had lots of question marks on it, and then I realized after I had done that, I didn't like it when players went to question marks for the sake of exploring them. I would probably give my players a more objective map of the world next time and just say, this thing is here have a reason to go interact with it before you do. And so the players would, you know, sort of know what was up, but also maybe wouldn't feel like they have to just go to everywhere because it's on the map. There would be sort of, a, okay, we know that this, you know, Lich's lair is over here. We'll go there for some reason at some point, maybe, but not just go there to explore it. So that was a lesson that I learned about having purpose and, and just my own personal preferences about that kind of thing. Not that there's a right way or a wrong way, just I didn't like the way I had done it. I think through most of the campaign, I did a pretty poor job of doing the fun little bits, like dramatically explaining combat or asking players, hey, how does your character feel about this situation to inspire some more role playing? I got better at it as the campaign went on, but for most of it, I don't think I did a really good job of it. So definitely something I could improve for next time around. I think in hindsight the campaign was also very episodic. It was lots of like adventures strung together, but not really a beginning, middle, and end. It didn't have an overarching plot, didn't really have an overarching bad guy that they were facing off against the whole time. It was just sort of very open sandbox without direct goals. There was a goal, but it was sort of uh, intangible. Just like find a location for a colony. Could be anywhere, and there was no real deadline or time limit or solid tangible end game like stop this lich from doing his thing it was very uh, episodic and so i don't think it was a problem but i think in the future i'm going to do it differently at least this next campaign i want to do it differently because i think experimenting with different styles is really healthy as a dm to see what do i like to do and so i want to have this next campaign be more of a story-based thing uh definitely i've done campaigns like that before and really enjoyed it i've really enjoyed the open sandbox but i want to kind of bounce back and forth and so i'm going to do more of not a railroaded you know start to finish type thing but hey, there's a big overarching goal, uh, specifically a, a villain, 
and they will be playing through this whole thing. The players are very sandbox in the area that they'll be in, but there will be a, a tangible enemy from very near the beginning, if not the absolute beginning. So nothing wrong with how I did it, but just trying something different next time. I think also combats I have gotten a lot better at. I used to be really bad at having interesting dynamic combats. I basically did everything in like a black box, and so I've gotten better about using terrain and dynamic enemies and using tactics and strategy and things like that. But I think I want to up the number of encounters. I basically had gotten to the point where I averaged one combat a session, so usually one, sometimes two, sometimes none. And I think I want to bring that average closer to two. So sometimes three, sometimes one, maybe zero, but usually two-ish. And so maybe make them a little bit easier than they have been, but be more of them. I think going to six or eight is ridiculous, at least for my style of game, but two, maybe three encounters a, a session I think is much more reasonable and feasible. So I want to try to up that just a little bit. Just I think I can make combat more dramatic and interesting. And combat is when the stakes are really present. And so I want to make that uh, central feature of the game more so than I have been in the past. And so I'll try to make sure combat can flow a little faster, but also uh, have some more of them. Overall, though, being honest, I think the campaign went about as well as it could have, given who all the players were, what I knew and didn't know before before the campaign started, what kind of campaign I had chosen to run or the players had chosen to play, like basically all of that stuff put together meant that we had a certain certain limitations on how well the campaign could go and was possible to go. And I think we went about as well as we were going to go. So I'm pretty satisfied with it. I had a lot of fun. All my players had a lot of fun. Uh, we all had fun playing together. It was it was a great time. I just don't think it was the best D&D I've ever played or ever been a part of. And I think my best days are in front of me. You know, I'm, I'm always learning. I'm always growing. All good DMs should be. All good players should be learning and growing and, and adapting and, and trying to improve. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's one of the reasons I'm making these videos is so that I can go back and watch them and go, ooh, that was terrible. Don't do that, Nick. And so I want to learn these lessons and, and continue to get better. So I think, I hope, next campaign is going to be even better than than this one. I want to keep improving, but being honest, relative to my uh, campaigns in the past, this was probably a solid B, maybe B plus, somewhere in there uh, in terms of how well the campaign went. So I think it went about as well as I could. I'm glad we did it. I, I had a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm sure I will post lots of videos about uh, various topics, but also including ones about uh, my next campaign. So pitch docs that I have, and house rules, homebrew, uh, world building, things like that. So I'm looking forward to sharing some of those videos with you guys. Thank you so much for watching these videos, for engaging with this Southern Isles campaign that we got to have. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching all of these videos about this campaign, and I'll see you next time.